over here. All right, I'll, uh, I'll start packing up. Now, Javi, you need to hurry. Look, I'm not giving you shit, okay? I'm just... You weren't here when Dad was sick, okay? I get it, but... You need to fucking be here when he goes. I know. All right, I'm just on my way. <sighs> David! It's David, hey! Hey, David. I had to leave my car. It's traffic's just it's backed up for miles. He's dead. No! No! I, I, I tried! You're a piece of shit. You know that? One time. Just the one goddamn time that you needed to be here. Look. Look, I understand you're angry, but please... Angry? Oh, I'm more than angry, Javi! <clears throat> Everyone's here. They've been here for days, and where the fuck were you? <clears throat> we're there, all around him. People who love him, all around him. And he's scared. I'm seeing the panic in his eyes, and he's searching the room. ¿Dónde está Javier? ¿Dónde está mi hijo? I'm there. Right beside him, holding his hand. Like a good son. And he doesn't even see me. He doesn't even see me because he's looking for you. You don't think there's a million places we'd rather be? I'm sorry. Okay? David, Jesus, I... Sorry isn't bringing him back. I'm sorry. You selfish fuck. Uncle Javi? Why are you fighting? I could hear you from inside. Don't worry, Gabe. We're just horsing around. Just a joke between brothers, you know? Yeah. Your uncle doesn't know how to take anything seriously. Go inside, mijo. We'll be in in a minute. Go on. It's okay. Inside. I should call someone, pick up the body. Yeah. I love you, little brother. You know that, right? With everything going on, I know. You think I was jealous of you? No, I, I don't think anything. Well, I was. For a long time. You've lost more than I'll ever have. But maybe something good can come out of all this. Because we need you here. It's time to grow up. You can't run from this. Not anymore. I know. You're right, I won't even argue. I'll be around more, honestly. You, you can count, count on, on it. it, huh? I want to believe that. I do. Javi. Kate. I'm so sorry, Javi. I'm so sorry. Thank you. Let's go inside. Your mom needs you. What happened? Come on. Mama. Where were you? I tried. 
I tried. I'm so sorry. He's gone, mijo. He's gone. <laughs> He's in a better place, mama. David made arrangements with your father before he passed. No puedo conectarme. Dicen que no hay servicio. You thirsty, baby? You want some juice? Grandpa's cup was empty. You don't have to fill his cup up anymore, baby. Grandpa is sleeping. No, Yaya. People's awake. Where's your sister? <laughs> keys! Where the fuck are the keys? Take Dad's car. Keys are on the dash. <laughs> Mama, get the kids. Meet at the hospital. Don't take the highway. It's blocked. <sighs> I'll bring the van around. Where's Mari? I, I don't know. Mija. Mariana! From the stars! Mariana, we have to go! Yaya's hurt! Come on, honey, we have to go! No, no, no! 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 Okay. It's okay. County General Hospital. I know the way. Tell me when it reaches the campfire. I don't 
don't think I've seen this many. It's definitely growing. Yeah, not a great sign. Damn it, I left my water bottle. Her just got there. Just under four hours. Come on, we should keep moving while the kids are asleep. Yeah. Looks like the herd is speeding up a little. I thought it was drifting southwest, but I'm not sure anymore. Every time I think we should just bed down somewhere and wait for it to pass, I can't shake the thought of us getting caught in the middle of it. It just keeps coming. It's slow, but that almost makes it worse. It'd definitely be nice to stop. We've been on the move a while now. I don't know. It feels risky. Well, not if we find somewhere secure. We'll figure it out. We always do. Hey, I'm gonna sneak a smoke. I can't believe you found weed. Are you kidding? People were probably growing this before they realized they needed food. All right, just, you know, make it quick. I don't want you waking the kids. Relax. Mariana's got headphones on and Gabe is drooling. I think we're in the clear. You want some? Yeah. Okay, sure. <coughs> we are setting an awesome example. <coughs> Don't judge me. <coughs> oh, when I found out David had kids, I told him I am not changing who I am around them. <laughs> and when he proposed, I reminded him that I'm not exactly stepmother material. <laughs> Case in point. He was reassuring, but yeah, I could tell he was worried about it. I knew he'd try to get me to change. <laughs> or at least he'd hope that being around the kids more would change me, you know? <laughs> Do you miss him? I think about that a lot. Honestly, I'm not sure. I used to talk shit about all those mothers who'd go on about raising their kids as being the hardest thing in the world. Oof. Gabe's making me start to think they had a point. <laughs> His mood swings are just... Oh, I don't know. Some days I just want to leave him by the side of the road. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> Jesus. Obviously. Gabe's been emotional lately. I'm sure he's just, you know, going through a phase. Emotional? <laughs> right. That's cute. Look, I love these kids, but I could do without Gabe reminding me I'm not his mother whenever he's pissed. Man, he's a teenager. Puberty, hormones. Oh yeah, the second you start getting boners, the whole world starts to get dark. <sighs> what are you talking about? It sounds delightful compared to dealing with bloody underwear. <laughs> Christ, I need to get laid. <laughs> You know, the kids can hear you. I just, no one wants to hear their parents talking about that. Stepmoms and uncles don't count. They're asleep. And besides, we're not really their parents. Still. Hmm. Ugh. What's that smell? That's gross. Hey, Mariana. Shouldn't you be, uh, sleeping or, or something? I already know you guys do drugs. That's a pretty severe way of phrasing it, Mariana. Don't tell Gabe. He's the one who told me. Ugh. Oh my god. You're even smoking in the car now? Alright. Everyone roll the windows down before you all get contact high. We're about to make a supply stop.
<sighs> you praying for our safety, Mari? I'm praying I find a candy bar. <laughs> All right. What do we actually need? Uh, a candy bar. Pretty much everything. If it looks useful, let's use it. All right. Well, let's start with some gas and move up from there. Where are you going? Okay, that's cool. Have fun. Oh, Jesus. It never ends with him. I hate when they fight like that. I really hate it. It's like all Gabe wants to do is argue. Well, that makes two of us. But we're stuck with him, so... At least you have your headphones. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. I mostly wear them to fool you guys. You can't just ignore us, Mariana. Well, at least, yeah, don't ignore me. I only do it in the van, and only when things are, you know, uncomfortable. Be nice to find some dinner. In a junkyard. You never know. These past four years, people have been hoarding all kinds of shit in all kinds of places. Oh, and Mari, if there's any trouble, you can find one of these cars. Yeah? Lock yourself in and don't come out. Not even once it's quiet. And wait as long as you can. Okay. Good girl. Waste oil. No use to us. Okay, now I'm sorry I did that. Oh, that's gross. Come to Papa. Barely anything. I'll need to find more. Ugh, I don't think these tires would fit the van. Looks like there's more to see up here. Any luck? Some. But not enough. Gabe? Hey, Gabe. Let's go take a look over there. Gabe, stay close to Javi. Got it? Oh, all right. Look, there's one they never took to pieces. Good catch. <sighs> Shit, it's locked. 
All right. Here goes nothing. Fuck yeah. Look at all that fuel. This is gonna take a while. Locked. Oh well. At least it had some gas. Looks like it came from in there. Gabe, stay close. Not gonna be able to pry this open. Damn it. Might be able to get in through the hatch. down. Gabe, come check this out. Not the cleanest place. Oh, no muertos, at least. Let's just be careful. Are you kidding me? Lucky for you, they put enough preservatives in this stuff to last for centuries. Well, there's enough food in here to keep us going for a long time. Oh, check it out. This is actual honest-to-God pudding! Seriously? And 
It's not just food. There's a mattress. There's blankets. Someone else's mattress. Someone else's blankets. We need to just take our gas and get on the road. This place does have a funny feeling about it. And if Muertos were to somehow surround us... Great. Now I'm officially creeped out. Come on, one night. We bunk down, eat a real meal. It would be nice not to sleep in the van for a change. Please. The herd is coming, if it's not here already. We should go and get ahead of it, before it's too late. The fence is reinforced. We'll be fine. We found this. Why can't we just enjoy it? We're gonna get what we came for and get out of here. Great. Another shitty cramp night in our shitty cramp van. Hooray. Come on. Let's at least grab the food. Oh, guess what? Uh, now, you can really drown us out. <laughs> hey, thanks for that. Backing me up and all. How does it feel to be the bad guy this time? That must be a new sensation for you. Well, clearly, I have a thicker skin. Hey, Kate. Can you come help us with this? <sighs> hey, uh, wait, but you... This way you can make up for being the bad guy. Thanks. Grab some gas. We need to head out soon. What the fuck do you think you're doing with our gas? Go on, speak up! Whoa, whoa, look, the, the gas is all there. You just keep it. Yeah, I'm thinking it's a little too late for that. You ain't the loner type. I can tell. I know you got people. They're out scouting around, but they'll be back soon. They're not going to be too happy if they see you pointing a piece at me. Yeah, probably not. Then again, maybe they're already here, waiting to make an ambush. Fan out and look for the others. Lonnie, you're with me. You assholes in there! I got your boy! If you don't want him getting shot, you best come out there careful with your hands up! Go on, you first. You get ambushed by your own people, that shit's gonna make my day. Open it real slowly. Don't fuck around with me, boy. Friends had a real face time. You can't just take what you like. Look, look, I I'll get you more food. Okay, I can replace everything, I That's swear. That's the goddamn least you can do. Look, I, I, I get it, all right? You're starving. Who the fuck is it? At the end of your rope, thought you hit pay dirt. Honest mistake. But I got this sneaky fucking feeling <clears throat> that you're full of shit. I ain't gonna let it be like the last time some assholes rolled on us. Keep an eye on this dickhead. I'm gonna grab some cuffs. You got it. 
Just chill, okay? No need to make this any harder. You have no idea who you're fucking with here. I think I'm fucking with somebody who's full of shit. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. You don't want me finding out for myself. Don't open that. Hey, I'm warning you. You open that and you're dead. Don't fuck with me. Look, man. This doesn't have to go. What the fuck was that noise? What you got hiding under there, boy? If you know something, you better spill it. Come on, man, what else? There are muertos down there. There were a bunch of them outside, too. The dead, huh? Well, then, we better take care of that, shouldn't we? Hey, my family, where are they? What did you do with my family? Fucking asshole. Just do us both a favor and pretend you're still asleep. I wouldn't start talking if I were you. You're lucky we do things a certain way. I'm already tempted to put a bullet in your brain for what you did to Lonnie back there. If we start talking, I'm gonna get angry. What happened to him was an accident. Yeah, right. Keep talking, we might find ourselves in a similar accident. You get what I'm saying? Please, you have to believe me. We were just... Not another word, or God help me, I'll put you to sleep myself. We still got a haul ahead of us, and I'm not about to listen to you. What the hell? Stop! Stop! Ah, oh, shit! No, no, no! Good. Just keep looking forward. Look, I'm no threat to you, okay? I surrender. Well, that's obvious. Seeing how you didn't shoot that guy. Okay, now don't do anything stupid. Because I'm not as nice as you. I won't hesitate. Wait, did you do that? With the tree? I was trying to stop the truck. Oh, shit. Yeah. You stopped it, all right. The tree fell slower than I thought it would. Put your hands up and close your eyes. Look. 
I'm the victim here. We're all victims. Oh, so it's okay for you to rob me? This is payment for saving you. Hey, that's for my niece. She loves chocolate more than anything. I promised it to her. Please. Keep your eyes closed and count to a hundred before you go. Wait, just... My family. I need to get back to them. We were attacked and I don't... Look, I just need to know where I am. We were driving down the 522 and that's when we found the junkyard. They're still there. I need to get back to them. I know where that is. You said you were driving? In our van, yeah. I'll take you to the junkyard if you let me have your van. I get you there in one piece, then I drive away. That van is our home. It's all we got. That sounds like a no. How about you just give me directions like a normal person? How about I shoot you and take the van anyway? This is a better deal for you. Let's go. This really necessary? I don't know you, I don't trust you, and I'm not taking any chances. So it's safer for both of us if you're tied up. Come on. You must trust me at least a little. We're here, aren't we? I trust that if I don't get a van at the end of this, you'll regret it. The name's Javier, by the way. People call me Javi. Clementine. Now it's nice to meet you, Clementine. If you say so. You don't want to talk? Fine. But how about you give me that gun back so I can at least defend myself? For all I'd know, you'd turn around and use it on me. Look, I'm not gonna shoot you. I didn't even shoot the guy who had me tied up. But I know you thought about it. Muertos. The herd caught up with us. Muertos. What do you call them? Walkers. Well, what do you call the ones that run? They're all fucking walkers, okay? Look, I'm just... I'm not used to being around other people. Not for a while, anyway. Sounds kind of lonely, if you ask me. Well, I didn't ask you. And, anyway, I prefer it like that. So, who's at this junkyard? My brother's kids. And his wife. It's impressive, surviving this long. Not sure how you did it. Just keeping everyone together like that. Well, I didn't do it alone. My, uh, well, uh, Kate helped. She did most of the work, actually. Sounds nice, having a partner. It is. How about you? You must have been pretty young when this shit started. I was. But some people looked out for me, too. What happened to them? Same thing that happens to everyone. Shit. We can't stay here. There's a town up ahead. We can stay there until the herd passes. Otherwise, we're walker food. We can't make a detour. I need to get to my family. And I need that van. But right now, you have to trust me. Oh, you mean the way you trust me? Don't make me regret this. Come on!
There! Get to the gate! Just keep going! They'll open up! Shit! Hey! Open up! Can't open the gate till you clear them out. Can't risk it. Fuck! These bullets won't fire. Damn it, Francine, one of these days, those doors are gonna close, and your ass will be on the other side. <laughs> yeah, and when that day comes, Trip, I promise, I'll eat you first. It's Clementine, right? You staying a while this time? No. Once the walkers pass, I'm taking this guy to a junkyard off the highway. My family might be trapped there, hiding from some very bad dudes. Well, shit. I'm truly sorry to hear that. This herd rolled in pretty quick. We're hoping it's gone just as fast. So, just keep your heads down and steer clear of trouble. You got me? There's too much going on outside the walls tonight. We'll be cool. Just need a place to ride out the herd, that's all. All right. I'm gonna hold you to that. And I wouldn't recommend changing your mind if you wanna hang on to all your teeth, that is. Now head on in. I got shit to do. Well, welcome to Prescott. It's a pretty cool place, actually. Built from an old airstrip, I guess. The people, on the other hand, they're not my favorite. Usually I'm in and out as quick as I can manage. It's just a pit stop, okay? We're gone as soon as there's a window. I hope that window comes soon. In the meantime... Hey, Hobby. What's... what's up? My family... They're still out there. In the middle of all that. If you guys made it this long, I I'm sure you know... They'll know what to do. Hopefully. Let's go. This way. I gotta see a guy about some bullets. Jeez. I haven't been in a place like this since... Well, you know. It's just like the old days. Listen, I gotta take care of something. Hang tight. Well, wait, wait. Well, what should I do? I don't know. Why don't you make some friends? Excuse me. Oh, you again. <laughs> you got some moves, I'll give you that. Hold on a minute. Don't I note you from somewhere? I don't know. Maybe. Garcia. Javier Garcia. For what it's worth, I think you got screwed on the gambling thing. A lifetime ban. Shit. Should have had a 20 year career. The way I see it. Nothing wrong with betting on yourself to win. Honestly, I don't even think about it anymore. Past is the past. Hm. <laughs> Fair enough. Anyway, I'm Conrad. This here's Francine. He runs the place? 
I just take his money. <laughs> yeah, well, maybe I'm just letting you win. Oh, actually, if you're the gambling type, game's poker. Five card stud. I'll raise you. What do you think? Should I call or should I fold? Hmm. Don't get too intimidated. Hmm. Fold. Doesn't feel right. Hmm. Go with your gut. Fold. Now that's a shame. Let's see how it could have gone. You folded that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Good looking hand there, but not good looking enough. Whoa. Thanks for the warning. No problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I mean it. That could have cost me. How's about a drink? On my tab. Bottoms up. Wow, man, this smells like turpentine. <laughs> That's the weak stuff. Don't turn away from me. I'm talking to you. Oh, shit. Hey, what's the point in talking when I already told you a deal is a deal? And it's done. What's going on? This guy ripped me off. I traded him a crate of perfectly good batteries, and he gave me a box of bullets that won't fire. He could have gotten both of us killed. Oh, yeah? And who the fuck are you, a bodyguard or something? Because I don't scare easy, all right? Just make it right. We can all walk away from this nice and easy. Uh, well, you can't even prove those are the bullets I traded you. Oh, hey, Clem, come on. He knows the bullets don't work. Listen to him. He's not even nervous. I could have died because of his bullets. Oh, fucking believable. Look out! Hey, listen. Let's all cool down, huh? You were acting crazy, I was too. We just got a little out of hand. That's all. Just give me what I'm owed. Jesus, you gotta get her under control, man. This ain't no way to do business. All right, stop, seriously, this isn't getting you anything. We had a deal. All right, hey, okay, all right, so hey, we'll, we'll trade back. I'll find some batteries. I don't need batteries. What I need are bullets that won't get me killed. Oh. oh no. Oh no. Drop the gun! Right now! Say he attacked you and that he was going for his gun. I fucking warned you! Eli attacked him. I only shot because. Shut it! You've done enough talking. Drop it. There's a herd out there and you're firing off a fucking. What the fuck happened here? He attacked Javi, okay? It was self defense. Enough from you. Does she really have to shoot? Look at my eye, man. Of course she's telling the truth. The guy ripped her off, reached for his gun, and would have shot me if she hadn't stopped him. See? You happy now? <sighs> God damn it. I'm putting you two under lock and key until I figure out what to do with Whoa. you. Whoa! Oh, hey, what? Are you for real? As real as it gets. Now move it. Got some nerve coming in here fucking up my bar. I oughta punch your fucking lights out. Both of you. But Eli was a grade A certified dipshit. I'll even have someone come take a look at that cut. Hey. Thanks for having my back at the hangar. That was, um, that was cool of you. Of course. Anytime. Well, I mean, you and I are a team now. Thanks. I mean it. Just don't think this makes us friends or anything. Hello? I'm Eleanor. I'm what passes for a doctor around here. Trip sort of overdoes it sometimes. I hate that I'm treating you in a cage, like you're some feral animal. Javier, pleasure's all mine. Is it now? Now, let's see about that wound. Yeah, he got you good. Try to hold still. <clears throat> 
Why is it always the pretty ones who end up causing the most trouble? As if good looks equal bad behavior or something. Yeah. Well, it takes one to know one. One what? One pretty troublemaker. <laughs> I'll give you that one. People are saying she killed a man in cold blood. If you don't mind me asking, what did happen exactly? That they were arguing and that she went crazy over nothing? Look, things got out of hand. Clementine was only trying to make a point, but then... You make it sound so casual. Best thing is probably for you two to leave town and get back to your group. We were attacked earlier this evening. There were four of us. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. If there's... If there's anything I can do to help. Well, not that I have much to offer you, but... If you really want to help me, let us out of this cage. Eleanor? You done yet? Just about. All right. Here's what we're gonna do. I'm driving you that junkyard myself. Get you out of my hair, and no one can say I didn't do right by no one. In the meantime, you two can sleep right here and think about what shitheads you were earlier. On my terms, and on my timeline. You got me? All right. Fair enough. Fair enough? Go kiss a skunk's ass. I should be earning a goddamn Boy Scout badge for this. Trip, it doesn't seem right to wait. Javi's people, they could need a medic. Nah, no way. Not putting you in that kind of danger again. That's not your call. Look, maybe there's another way. We've got a rear gate down at the other end of the airfield. We don't use it much, but, well, we could leave tonight. Slip past the herd, get a jump start on reaching that junkyard. What? Seriously? When you do that for me. It's just, it's the right thing to do. Anyway, think about it. I've got to check on some patients, but I'll be back in an hour. You know, I never would have guessed she had it in her. Yeah, she's... She's something. The thing is, is, and maybe this sounds weird, but I still trust Trip more than I trust her. We're leaving tonight, with Eleanor. If it gets us there even a minute sooner, it's worth it. All right, I'm in. You know, when I met you, I thought you'd just be another asshole like everyone else. And to think that when we first met, you nearly blew my head off. <laughs> yeah, guess I made the right call. Sounds like Eleanor will be a little while. Maybe we should get a few winks. Good idea. I'm exhausted. I'll get the lamp. What you draw in there, goofball? Can I see? <sighs> you know I'm no good at this game, but I'll try to guess what it is. Just give me a second, I'll figure it out. Is it a picture of you? It's me? <sighs> it looks just like me. Come on, can you say Clem, AJ? Give it a try. Clem. Not much of a talker, are you, goofball? Edith says you should be speaking by now, but... Don't worry about it. You'll talk when you're ready. That was weird. Clem, open up. It's me. Edith, what's wrong? The group from last week. They're back. And now they're armed. This is bad, Clem. 
Th th there's a lot of them. Too many of them. Uh, do you need my help? No, I, I need you to pack whatever you can. Be ready to run just in case. They got a lot of cars and they're seriously pissed off. This is gonna get ugly. I know it. And pack your stuff. When I get back, we gotta get the hell out. Shit, shit, shit. Very essentials. Come on. We fucking begged you, man. Our people are sick and starving. It didn't have to be this way. You could have just given us some grub, some medicine, that's it. This is your fault. Y'all are just hoarding- Clem! Clem! They're inside! We have to go now! Sun's up. <sighs> Chip's probably mad as hell by now. What do you think he'll do to you? Oh, nothing. He'll yell at me a little. Chip and I, we sort of used to be a thing. It was for like five minutes, and it fizzled out fast. But he never really got over it. I gotta say, I think you could do a lot better than that, meathead. Are you being serious? You know what I mean. Guys, that's the place. Yeah, this is it. Oh, shit. Guns out, yeah? If you insist. Jesus. Must have been hundreds of them. Kate's good in a crisis. She'd know how to get shelter. What's that? <laughs> Mariana's tape player. Mariana? Mariana, are you here? Javi! Oh my god! You're safe! I can't believe it! You told me where to hide. I just listened to what you said. Lock yourself in and don't come out, not even once it's quiet. It kept running through my head like on a loop. Did they hurt you? Are you okay? I hid before they could get to me. I'm fine. Really. Kate, and your brother, where are they? We got pulled apart when that huge bunch of muertos showed up. Kate yelled that they were gonna try to make it back to the van. And that's where we're headed. Let's go get your brother back, sweetie. Oh no. No. No sign of him. They must have seen it like this, then gone someplace else to hide. Kate. Mariana, stay back! Wait! Nobody shoots! He's right! We fired the truck, we might hit them.
Javi! You found us. Hey, hey, it's okay. I got you. You happy to see me? I'm happy to see all of you. Happy you're all okay. Another couple of minutes, we might not have been. But then, you showed up. Just when it really mattered. Yeah, well, that's kind of my thing. Oh. <laughs> I, I wanted to come after you. I, I swear I did. You don't have to snot all over my shirt about it. I thought we were dead. Like, never gonna see you again dead. You're still alive, aren't you? So is Kate. So is Mari. That's all that matters. I was just so scared. I'm here now. You don't have to be scared. Hey, you hurt yourself. You must have scraped it in the truck. Didn't even notice. Hey, at least it's not a bite. Eleanor, think you can take a look? It's okay. I'm a doctor. I'll clean it here, then patch you up back home. See? Better already. We should be getting back. Don't want to push her luck. Who's the kid with the gun? She have a name you want to share with us? She saved my life. Pulled this crazy stunt. Let me get the upper hand on the asshole who took me away from you guys. Her name's Clementine. Hi there. Glad I was able to help. Well, we're very grateful to you. Really. There's a town nearby. It's safe. I like the sound of that. Oh my god, Javi, do they have hot water? Even like lukewarm water would be okay. I'm sure they do. I'm gonna stay in until my fingers get all pruney. You look happy. I am. Search and rescue missions don't usually end so well. Alive and healthy. Guess I'm a lucky guy. The luckiest. When we get back to Prescott, you still owe me a working ride. I haven't forgotten about our deal. You couldn't have known what happened to your van, but still... Don't worry. I haven't forgotten our arrangement. I know it's not the easiest thing to find, but... Cool. Thanks. shooting again. Kate, are you okay? I'm fine. Really? No, she's not. And the longer it takes us to get out of here, the worse off she's going to be. We can't wait anymore. We stay here and we finish this. Are you crazy? We have to go now. We already killed one of you. If we don't stop them, they're gonna come after your family again. Let Eleanor help them. You stay with me. What? No, Javi, you have to come with us. Javi, please! Trust me, Javi. 
We have to end this now. Get her back to Prescott. We'll cover you. Javi! Go with them. I'll be fine. I need your help, Gabe. Just keep firing until they're out of sight, okay? I'm ready. <laughs> 